Grab your pencil, make it quick Do it right, he'll show the trick Come and draw with me He'll show you how to draw a face Or a rocket flying into space An elephant dancing on a wire Or an art dog with his pants on fire Good morning, legends, and welcome to this second big week in Draw Vember. No, it's not November, it's Draw Vember, and we are celebrating the awesomeness of drawing. So, if you have tuned in for the very first time and you have no idea what Come and Draw with Nick is, let me explain it to you. It's really, really simple. You get to tell me what to draw. So, comment, you know, if you would like to see a pig doing ballet and you want to see me draw that, or suggest that if you want to see a, um, a meerkat rollerblading, whatever suggestion you can think of, I'm going to come up with the top five and I'm going to draw them live with my draw sword. So get suggesting, get thinking, what could I suggest? And please make a suggestion because I want you to be a part of the show. And also, I would love for you to come and draw with me so you can get some pencils, you can get some paper, and let's draw these five pictures together. That would be super cool. So not only do I would love, I would love you to join the fun. I'd love your friends to join the fun. Um, if you know people in Portugal, share my socials with them. Say get on the internet, quick, check Nick out, and let's all draw together. But before we can start, I've got a bit of a bit of a sore throat, a bit of a cold today. Um, so. I need to warm up. I need to get into the right frame of mind. And our first warm-up picture, because we always start up these draw sessions with a warm-up picture. This set, this picture comes from um, Swifty Tarly's turtle. Tarly's actually got a turtle. And what I'll do, if you can see, in the corner of my studio here, there is a turtle tank, and that's where Swifty lives. So that's my daughter's turtle. And my daughter's turtle has suggested, can you draw... A turtle as a superhero. I'll tell you what, I would love to draw a turtle as a superhero. And this is our warm up picture. So let's get cracking. I'm going to start with the eyes. Eyes, eyes, eyes. Every good superhero mask has a mask. So we'll start drawing a mask in. I tell you what, when I was a kid, I loved watching the Ninja Turtles. Raphael was my favourite, the red one. So we might honour the Ninja Turtles by giving them the mask that they wear. So we'll draw the eyes in, all the nostrils. Draw some dots to make it look turtleish. Obviously, a turtle needs a shell, clearly. So we're going to draw the shell in. How much did you shell out for that? I'm going to draw the cape on the shell, actually, because this superhero has got a cape.
bit of a big belt because superheroes seem to have belts. I might give this superhero some boots, some big, strong boots. I hope your suggestions are coming in. I haven't clicked to the comments box yet, so I'd love to see your suggestions for what pictures I can draw today. And there we have for all the big shell, for the cape. And every time the police need this superhero, they shine a big T into the sky. That's how he knows when to fight crime. We'll draw a bit of a cityscape in the background. Might get a fatter texture and draw the night sky. In the background. And then we'll put a big T on his chest. Because this is Super Turtle. A lot of people think that turtles are slow, but not Super Turtle. He's super fast. He's super good. And he's a superhero. There we have our first picture, our warm-up picture for today. We have Super Turtle. All right, warm-up. So that's our warm-up picture. Put that behind there. We'll put always good to put your lid on your textures, otherwise, they'll dry up. So, that was our warm up picture from Swifty Tarly's Turtle, a turtle as a superhero. Thank you so much for joining in, Tarly's Pet Turtle. Now, the other awesome thing about Draw Vember is that we have competitions and challenges. And our first challenge for Draw Vember was for the Zadie Rome Foundation, they do amazing work. Um, in raising awareness for organ and tissue donation. Um, I had the honour of actually doing a book for these guys, so I, they're very close to my heart, and we had the Draw Heart Challenge. I challenged you, everyone out there, if you can draw a heart shape and draw something special to you inside that heart, then once you've done your picture, you need to give it to someone else, like you're giving um, something special to someone else uh, to help symbolize all the donation and we've had heaps of um pictures come through we've had this one come through that was amazingly detailed that's fantastic that picture then another one um some beautiful line work um obviously her family is special to her so that's in her heart um the legend of jackson he drew a lot of cool things in his heart um uh, and then michaela um drew music um, a lot of uh, a lot of music there. Um, music is special to a lot of people. So every week we give away a draw and show bag for someone that has given me, has shown me their pictures and been a part of Come and Draw with Nick. So what's in a draw and show bag? I hear you ask. Here it is. There. Um, you've got the pictures from last week's draw and show. Sorry for Come and Draw with Nick. You've got a sketchbook. You've got textures. You've got draw swords. You've got a lolly bag from the Warburton um, Candy Emporium. A lot of good stuff there. So the winner. Oh, it was so cool. I got to send um, one to South Australia, so hopefully that gets there soon. Um, the winner of this week's drawing show bag goes to Michaela. And I've saved that as a JPEG, so you can't see my face. Silly, Nick. But let's just concentrate on the amazing picture. She... Um, did a draw heart and she draw music and a lot of cool stuff in there. So well done, Michaela. We're going to get that out to you as soon as we can. So check your mailbox. It'll be coming to you. All right. Now it's time for me to pick the top five. I've got my mini whiteboard. I'm going to draw the top five suggestions into there. Let's go to the comments. Cool. Um, we have a suggestion, a banana playing 
on the PlayStation 5. Let's write that down. I'm not too sure what the PlayStation 5 looks like, but I'm going to have a go. Um, I'm just going to write PlayStation, a banana. A very good suggestion. Banana playing PlayStation. I remember when I first got the PlayStation 1. That was so many years ago. Jackson, my old friend, has suggested a chicken driving a boat. I like it. I like it a lot. A chicken driving <coughs> a boat. A very good suggestion. Um, we've had good morning, everyone. Good morning to the Kennys over there in South Australia, a lovely part of the world. Uh, baby Yoda surfing. I quite like that. Let's write that down. Is there any more suggestions? I've got two spots left. Number four and number five. They're up for grabs. A pencil playing on the iPad. Yes, I like that, Cameron. Let's put that up on the screen. Pencil. Playing. On the iPad. I've recently invested into the Apple Pencil and an iPad, and I'll be drawing that. Um, Nick fighting a robot. I like it. Let's. I'm assuming that's me, not Nick. Saint Nick. Hey, let's change that to Saint Nick. I'll make that Santa. Saint Nick. Fighting a robot. We're coming into Christmas, so let's give it a bit of a Christmas vibe. Nick fighting a robot. So there we have our five suggestions. All right, I'll make it me. All right. So here's our five suggestions. We have a banana playing PlayStation, a chicken driving a boat, baby go to surfing, a pencil playing on the iPad, and Nick, me, fighting a robot. I can't remember the last time I fought a robot, but uh, I'm up for the challenge. All right, let's click on the blank, and let's start with picture number one, which is a banana playing PlayStation. We are going to need a piece of paper, or else it's very hard to draw. So let's draw the eyes, start with the eyes. Now, if you've got a banana at home, you could use that as reference if you like. Also, if you have a PlayStation 5 at home, you might use that as a reference. Bananas, semi-jamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas, semi-jamas will catch you on the wares. Oh, he doesn't look too happy. Oh, he's got a bit of a tear in his eye. What's happened? They've got shapes for memory on the controllers. Now, I think the, the PlayStation 5 is a black box. Um, does it have a cord? Or is it Wi-Fi, the controllers? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it'd be Wi-Fi, so there's no cords. The banana sitting on the couch, ready to play his PlayStation. Mm -hmm. 
Well, he's a be- he, he thought he was going to play PlayStation. So here's all the other bananas at the fruit shop. The banana section. <coughs> Actually... There's this. There we have picture number one. Banana playing PlayStation. And uh, the fruit shop's only got a really small TV, so he can hardly see, and he just crashed his car in the game. So that's picture number one, a banana playing PlayStation. He's crying because he's crashed his car because he can hardly see where he's going on the small screen at the fruit shop. They need to buy a bigger TV. So get down to your local fruit shop and buy some fruit and help them afford a bigger TV for their bananas that play PlayStation. All right. Let's cross out picture number one because we've just drawn that. Cross it out. Now we are drawing a chicken driving a boat. Let's do it. All right. I like chicken. I like chicken. Chicken driving a boat. I'm going to draw a chicken and it's going to drive a boat. I'm drawing a chicken. That's driving a boat. He's having a great drive. He's out of lockdown. He's driving his boat. Getting out on the water. Having a great time, this chicken. Got his hands on the steering wheel. Safety first. He's so excited, he's laid an egg. A couple of them. (laughs) The thing is that roosters don't lay eggs, do they? What do you know? He's fanging around the lake. Woo! I'm out of lockdown. We might get a new Sharpie. Fanging around the lake. Oh, you know what we forgot on our chicken pitcher? He needs a rego. So he's uh, Y. Sorry, he's U Y one four seven. Sign your name. Very important that if your name's not Nick, don't sign the name Nick. All right, there we have picture number two. That is a chicken driving a boat. There we go. There we have picture number two, a chicken driving the boat. Let's put our pictures behind here to go. One picture, two picture. Get a new piece of paper. New piece of paper. Oh, you want a tool, but you you piece of pizza, paper. <coughs> there we go. Awesome. We'll cross that off. Chicken driving a boat. And our next suggestion is baby Yoda surfing. Let's roar it. Mm. Draw a picture, you must. Draw a picture of a baby Yoda surfing. Mm. Yes. Mm. 
Now I've forgotten what Baby Yoda looks like. Let's just draw some big eyes. This is my version of Baby Yoda. It may look nothing like him. But the thing is, you've just got to try. This baby Yoda's got a bit of a dummy. He's surfing. I forgot about that. Baby Yoda. He's got his dummy. Do some suck, suck noising. Suck, suck. Baby belly. He's got a nappy on because he's a baby. Come on, a dude. Oh, he's ripping up the waves. It's a big wave rider. Or some big waves in the background. Oh, the sun's come out. When the sun comes up tomorrow, let it cry. Hootie and the Blowfish, that was. Big band back in the 90s. Mm. Mm. Surf? You must. Try. Mm. Mm. And that is picture. What is that picture? Number three. Sorry, eight. Now we have baby Yoda surfing. Take a look at that one. Baby Yoda with his full nappy by the looks. You might need to get that changed. That is picture. Number three. Great suggestion. What is the... <coughs> we need to get a new piece of paper. Click. Get our whiteboard. Cross out. There you go. Now. Next, we are drawing a pencil playing on the iPad. What a great and fantastical suggestion. All right. What I might do. I might. I've got some cartoon trickery happening in this picture. Oh, what could that trickery be? Hmm, I don't know. What is that trickery that you speak of? Always fine when you draw. If you can make silly noises, it helps you. So a pencil, let's draw the end of the pencil. 
This is the arise of it. Pencil bit. Now, here's the cartoon trickery, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to flip it around. What? Boop. Now we're going to draw the iPad. He's playing on the iPad. He's, he's, he's drawing himself on the iPad. That's crazy. So he's, he's drawing himself on the iPad. So that is picture number four. Number four, what's in store? All right, there we have picture number four, a pencil on the iPad, playing on the iPad. He's playing on the iPad by drawing himself on the iPad. Great suggestion. So we have come to the end picture. What is the end picture? Oh, we've got to cross out number first. Number four first. All right, our last picture for the day is Nick, me, fighting a robot. Let's draw it. All right, let's draw me fighting a robot. Oh, I need a piece of paper. You need a piece of paper, sir. All right. Oh, oh no, he's me. I don't think I'm faring too well in this fight. Oh, I'm all over the shop. Oh no, I think I'm losing this fight. Now we'll draw the robot with his big fists, big robot fists. I didn't stand a chance against this robot. Smack. Big robot muscles. He's even bopped me on the head.
Oh, what a mean robot. Your big legs. Smack. Crack. Something went pop in my back. Pop. So that is picture number five, our last picture of the day. Here we have Nick fighting a robot, and the what? The robot has absolutely knocked the suitcase out of me because um, I'm a better. Uh, I don't like fighting, and I don't like violence. So um, he challenged me to a fight, and I lost because I'm, I'm. I don't have much muscles. You see that? There's not many muscles there, and I'm no match for a robot. So the robots clearly won that picture. So let's recap. We've come to the end of the show. Let's recap the pictures that we've drawn today so that was picture number five we've drawn that uh nick fighting a robot and uh nick losing we drew a pencil on the ipad that was picture number four picture number three what was picture number three i hear you ask it was baby yoda surfing mm, surf you must try it. Mm. picture number two was a chicken Driving a boat. He's out of lockdown. He's driving his boat on the lake, Lake Hilton. Picture number one was a banana playing PlayStation, but he lost. Um, he crashed his car because he can't see the screen, the little screen in the fruit shop. And our picture, warm up picture was Super Turtle defending the city from crime. So, guys, we've come to the end of the show. I would super love you to draw your pictures and get them in, and you can go into the running of winning to win one of these drawing show bags. So make sure you do it. Make sure you share this post. Make sure you get other people involved. Now, if you're going to school, why don't you say, what do you do at 9.30 on Saturday? You should tune in and watch Nick and let's all draw together. So, so till next time, um, take up the Draw Heart Challenge and I would love to see your pictures. Until next time, keep drawing and let's all draw together. <laughs>